Welcome back, Nate with 911 Rapid Response. Thanks for tuning in once again. Today we have a Chevy Silverado 3500. Vehicle's been upfitted for the Goodwill Hose Company out of Cresona in Pennsylvania. So much thanks to the client for trusting us with this project. And we'll start by going over the aftermarket equipment that we have added to this truck. At the front, most obviously, is going to be the snowplow. Uh, the snowplow will not be on this vehicle in an emergency uh, scenario. So we'll have to get behind to see the lights that we have installed in the grill, which are four wheel and ions. Those are universal mounts. So those are mounted nicely above that uh, Chevrolet badge going across the grill. Front side warning is going to be the surface mounted wheel and T ion. So we have wheel and T ion surface mounted on each fender and on the service body as well, directly over top of the wheel. Uh, we also have installed aftermarket wheels on this vehicle. Our main piece of warning equipment is going to be the 54 inch Liberty II light bar. So currently the vehicle is in a park setting in low light. Um, so we're getting a DVI park pattern. More side warning is gonna be the wheel and tracer. This is a six lamp assembly. We can X unit so that we can X units in conjunction with the CENCOM core control system we have installed. We also have some ground lights underneath the, the chassis there that are illuminating in park. And while we're at the side of the vehicle, we can take a look at the graphics package. And also the vehicle was painted here at 911 Rapid Response. Our new Vengeant apparatus building uh, has a paint booth. So we're able to provide painting services Originally the chassis was white, along with the, uh, the service body was white, so we painted it uh, to match their, uh, the apparatus, the fleet that they currently have, along with the graphics package. Inside the compartments, we have added LED lighting. So this is technique strip lighting that we have installed there. And that's going to be included in each one of the compartments. Kusma auto eject for shoreline charging and rear of the vehicle. Furthermore, for warning on the service body, each side we have surface mounted T ions, two per side. And we might be able to see the finishing touches there with the Chevron on the rear side of the service body as well as on the tailgate there. Uh, also included for their use is the salt spreader. And we can take a look at what we have inside the vehicle between the seats for the console. So we have a Havis vehicle specific console solution. Uh, mounted on that solution is gonna be the controls for the salt spreader. Uh, we've also got the remote control for the, for the snow plow. Two sets of cup holders for this client. The Sencom control head, which is rotary knob and slide with the eight push button. And we've also got the indicator for their shoreline, as well as uh, an accessory pocket there on the wide side of the portion or wide portion of this console, along with some armrests. So we can hop in and take a look at some functionality that we have in this vehicle. Outside of park and slide three. So currently we're in low power because the, the photo cell on the light bar is uh, sensing a, a low ambient light. I can disable that low power setting and we'll get that full intensity. So in a daylight setting in park, the flash pattern is going to be a little bit different. Going to have some off time, maybe flash a little bit faster. And uh, it's going to be more visible in a daylight setting as compared to uh, our DVI nighttime pattern. So we did provide them with left alley, take down right alley. Uh, we have a button to illuminate all of our steady white. So that's going to essentially illuminate the entire light bar. And we're also going to get illumination out of the tracers for alley lighting or side lighting. And we'll get traffic advisor functionality out of the rear of the light bar as well. If we switch back to a low power, you might see that change up. And that'll wrap up this video. Thanks once again for tuning in.
Make sure you like, subscribe, follow on all of our social media outlets. We've got plenty more outfits to come. Make sure you stay tuned, and we'll see you next time.